All right, we are here with rough bantamweight Ian Miller. Yes, sir. Uh, let's talk about your fight with uh, Wheeler, I believe his yes, name sir. is. Uh, first, I want to talk about you, okay? What have you been working on in camp that's going to get you through this fight? Yeah, so uh, recently I just changed camps. It's called the Training Lab. It's in California. Um, our head coach, Mark Munoz, uh, some of the guys I work out with are like TJ Dillashaw, Juan Archuleta, Raymond Daniels, uh, just to name a couple. Name dropping is what you were doing. That's that's a excellent group of cats right there. Yeah, yeah. I like to I, I spar a lot bit with Juan, so it's uh, nice to learn from someone that's a veteran, and yeah. uh, it's been through you know it all basically. Well, you're talking about a, a four uh, division yeah, champion, king of the cage. Yeah. yeah. And then TJ has been really helpful. He's been coaching now that uh, he's been on the sidelines for a bit. Mm -hmm. And then Mark Munoz, my head coach, he's just the he's man. really mine. Yeah, he's he's. No, him and this other coach I've had, John Long, at Fight Ready, mm -hmm. two coaches I've really felt that, you know, they just, uh, how to put it, they, they make you feel calm, like in a non-calm sport, if that makes sense. No, that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, they, we've just been working on a lot of stuff. I know that he's a jiu-jitsu artist, uh, like a purple belt or something. I, I don't even really know too much, but um, I, don't know, I just work with top-level guys like uh, Chris McCate, another guy, he's Division I, uh, two-time All-American in a purple belt, so I've been working a bit with him. There you go. Um, just, just studs. That's all I'm surrounded with, and I will become one myself. Okay. Uh, now, this fight, uh, it's uh, on the amateur level. Yes, sir. So I want to talk about the road to pro. Yes, sir. Uh, so lay it out for me. Well, road to pro, I mean, I'm leaving really up to Mark. My, my uh, Mark and Coach Cal, mm -hmm. uh, Co uh, Sam Calvita, he's, uh, he owns the training lab. He, uh, those guys I, I have full trust in, but I'd like to go pro with next year probably okay. um, maybe halfway through the year that'd be nice i want to get at least three or four fights this year um i've been pretty inactive because i've had like four fights canceled in a row mm. in the past like year year and a half so um you know i'm just i'm just happy to be back and you know ready to ready to go so it sounds like you're pretty hungry any uh reason why these fights were canceled uh two had to do with like the state licensing and stuff like that in, in california uh no uh chicago and here oh shit okay and the other two had opponents pull uh, mm. The best one was uh, the one we pulled on July 5th. Wow. Yeah, so that was my favorite. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're at a good camp. You got full trust in the coaches. Yeah. You're already looking at pro. Um, you're training with some fucking studs. Yeah. You got Juan Archuleta. He just uh, took out uh, Henry Corrales not yep. too long ago. You know what I mean? So in the gym is where all the hard work is really taking place and the fight is usually easy it, it's easy it's it's the fun part of being a fighter yeah. so when you're in there what are some of the things that you know maybe somebody up from their couch eating potato chips that th they don't understand like the state of being in a fight uh trying to stay calm when it's a not calm thing for example say like you know a guy rushes you just full barrage of punches your average human is just going to curl up and you know just fuck out, you know, yeah. straight up. Uh -huh. um, you know, you gotta you gotta stay calm, assess the situation, assess the damages, assess you know openings they have, and then game plan from there. That's one thing that Raymond Daniels has been teaching me a lot lately is um, doing certain things to pick up on on their tendencies, doing uh -huh. certain things to pick up on you know what they do, and then kind of you know fuck with them a little you know just have some fun okay and with all these coaches I'm assuming there's the main game plan that's Mark and then Munoz. there's a what's that Mark Munoz is the yeah main and game so plan. there's a and then there's a B C D you have fail saves to get you through any type of situation right yeah okay well that sounds like you are ready to go man. I am sir it sounds like you could fight right now couldn't you uh, other than the weight yeah I mean yeah <laughs> calm precise Patient, yeah. there you go. I picked that up. I picked that up a lot, man. Well, hey, dude, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you, brother. What's right. your name, uh, Steve. 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 Great to meet you. Great to meet you too. Ian uh, Miller, Rough Thirty Eight, Bantamweight.